Umar, just very quickly, talk to us about uh, Bursa Rise, your research incentive scheme, uh, which is uh, pretty catchy, uh, I guess, uh, right? I mean, part of the aim of that is to increase trading velocity or churn, I get that. But in order to do that, you've got to make the companies that are being traded look uh, it, it, be more attractive, at least, or, or uh, have people uh, uh, know more about them through, through further coverage. How's that going? I think it's been very well responded. Uh, we, we're seeing hits on the website, Martin. I think more importantly, we were reaching out and bringing what we think are unpolished gems to market and working with those companies. Uh, to be frank, an exchange is only as good as your product or a market is only as good as the product you have. And so we're using uh, Rise as a catalyst to also support. Uh, we have launched a PLC transformation targeting really transparency, very targeted approach to uh, bringing companies to profitability. So as we, uh, as all investors know, why do we invest? We invest for growth, we invest for dividend, and we, of course, that's been driven by profits. Well, Mark, uh, great news, of course, that uh, we in Singapore and you guys in Malaysia, we're all uh, opening up uh, in, in this post-pandemic uh, recovery. But in terms of uh, cooperation between uh, Bursa Malaysia and uh, over here in Singapore. Can you bring us up to speed with what's on the horizon in terms of a potential uh, stock market connect between the two? Is that on the cards? Um, well, it's got to be based around real economic need, if I can, sorry. I think what we saw with the pandemic uh, is the vast majority of investors have moved, or the, the, the call for it is about moving up uh, online already and so people already have access to both markets now the conversation if you like is a much broader piece around if you would like an ASEAN connect how do we make ASEAN a frictionless market and reduce the cost for investors uh, is it from the back end or is it from the front end uh, particularly for institutional uh, investors from overseas, when they look at ASEAN, we, if we bulk up as, a, as one market, we'll have critical mass. And so an objective we would have is to have common clearing, if I may. So it's step by step, uh, unfortunately, or the, re the reality is we are not the EU. We do not have, a, if you like, a common framework amongst all markets. And so that will be one of the key things that we will have to drive as we go forward, the commonality of rules while actually recognising each country's sovereignty.